On Reality Check today, we talk about the fallout of the Pulwama attack, the attack which really shook us all up, the death of 40 Jawans in Pulwama and injury to so many others. And in the fallout of that, the death toll is not only rising, in an encounter to get to the plotters of that attack, the army managed to kill three terrorists, but we lost four more Jawans. So it's a real fight to tackle terrorism and understanding why a local boy became a suicide bomber. Remember, this is one of those rare instances where it isn't someone who sneaked in, but a local recruit. But while everyone is hurt and angry and feeling patriotic towards all the soldiers' lives that have been lost, do we forget about the rights of others? Under which law is it okay for mobs to ask college principals to not admit any more Kashmiris? And the principals have to give in to this kind of pressure. Under which rule does it say that students, when threatened, are packed off home to the valley instead of getting local law in order to ensure their safety? Rika Roy has a special report. Then we'll speak to the people who are involved, the students themselves, the college administrators, and those that are trying to help them. Also, somebody speaking for those that are angry with these students. We'll speak to all these quarters and try to get to the reality of it all. From several towns, police are responding to complaints by Kashmiri students that they are being targeted after the Pulwama attack. Here in Dehradun, the Kashmiri students are studying here. They are very strong and the police are very strong. And the Kashmiri students also have an appeal that there is no controversy or no controversy in the approach of the Shreni. They don't do any comment or don't do any attention to their studies. And they don't do any work in which they can be able to do any work in which they can be able to do any work in which they can be able to do any work. The concern arises out of controversial Facebook posts being circulated. At the Alpine College of Management Technology, a Kashmiri woman faced suspension for a post sympathizing with Shoaib Ahmed Lohan, a terrorist killed last week. Four women students of Jaipur's Nims University, a private medical college, have been booked for writing alleged objectionable posts on WhatsApp. The FIR, which charges them with sedition 124A and 153B, states that they expressed happiness by drinking lassi in response to the terror attack. Just a few kilometers before Nims, another similar incident has led to the Vinayak Dental College in Kukas closing down for two days. Here too, a student posted an objectionable message on the suicide bomber of the Pulwama attack, leading to a huge outcry in the dental college. She has forwarded some message. Mm. On that basis, uh, thinking in the situation of the country, mm. so we felt that yeah, some action should be taken. So we have called for the police and they have come here and they have taken the report, we have submitted the report and now it's up to them to inquire and uh, what action. They have to take, they will take. Kashmiri students in Dehradun, Aligar, Ambala and even Jaipur have alleged harassment and intimidation which the police are probing. The ones in the hostel of Maharishi Markandeshwar University in Ambala's Mulana village requested police that they be sent back to the valley. And at least two institutes in Dehradun have been forced to give an undertaking that they will not admit anyone from Kashmir in the new academic session. Several people in and around the capital have opened their doors for these distressed Kashmiri students and are even booking flight tickets at a premium price to send them back home. Though for now, they may find shelter, but the promise of a better future away from the valley seems distant, at least for now. With Harsha Kumari Singh in Jaipur and Dinesh Mansera in Dehradun, this is Rika Roy in New Delhi for NDTV. So just what is happening? Are the students at fault? Because in various places, we have these details of the cases from Jaipur uh, and other parts of Rajasthan to Dehradun, where the police have filed FIRs against various students saying that they posted comments on Facebook, they seem to be celebrating. And in fact, there was an arrest in Dehradun also over insulting comments against armed forces. In some parts of the country, like in Ambala, the various college administrations have said to some students that because they face trouble, it might be wiser to go back. So.
to talk about that, we have one such student, Firaz Ali. He is from Dehradun and he joins us in studio. We also have Kavita Krishnan who has been helping out these students in whatever way they need. Remember, as Rika said, lots of people have been opening their doors. And we have from the Yuva Morcha, we have uh, Ajay Shiravat. He's a member of BJP's uh, youth wing. And remember the mob that a lot of the students complained about in Dehradun was led by an amalgamation of various groups, including Students' Union of the ABVP. The ABVP was supposed to be on this show, but they decided in the end not to come. So Ajay Shirawat will be speaking about that. So we have, uh, first of all, I'd like to go across to the DGP, uh, Mr. Ashok Kumar of Uttarakhand. Mr. Ashok Kumar, thanks so much for speaking to us here on NDTV. Could you comment on the fact that, you know, a lot of these students, they're very happy. We've spoken to some of these students who were stuck there. But what would you say about the fact that principals have now said that they are not going to admit any Kashmiri students from next time? Is it the pressure that they're acting under, sir? And what action has the police taken? See, let me tell you two, three things. Sub uh, first of all, I am not the DGP. I am DG Law and Order. I am number two in the state. Okay, sir. Uh, second, uh, uh, second point is we have uh, ensured that everything is as per law. We have ensured safety and security of every, each and every Kashmiri student in Uttarakhand and in Dehradun. Third point is there are patients, uh, you know, uh, Dehradun, both the majors who have died are from Dehradun. So people are really uh, very sad and people are taking out processions, peaceful processions, uh, against the regime. Sometimes it is the tender marches and all. So it is very natural. It is very natural because persons are really high. We have lost uh, two officers and uh, I mean the, the country has lost uh, so many um, javans and so many officers. Now the third issue is you said that the institutes are uh, <coughs> saying that they don't want to give admission. So if they don't want to give on their own, it is their choice. But if someone wants to close, someone wants to force them that they cannot take admission. So for such things, we have taken action. Today, one such case has come to light. Today, one such came, case has come to light where we have arrested 20 people who, who re reached the uh, an institute just to tell them not to admit the students, uh, Kashmiri students next year, and who tried to vandalize. We have arrested 20 of them. Okay, you, you've taken action against students who were trying to protest there. Right, great for that information. But sir, I just wanted to ask, do you, do you think, because we've seen some of that footage, sir, it seems that all those principals, they were acting under pressure from these mob-like groups. So is the police trying to protect them as well? Because that's what they say, that they say that they don't what, know about the admission. You, they say that they were pressurized into f sending out those notices, sir. What is your inference from my earlier statement? If it is so, why would I make an arrest? Okay. I have registered a case against those people who are trying to threaten these uh, college uh, owning people. Okay, so sir, final question. Okay. Are the students there safe now? Students are 100 percent safe. Not okay. a single incident of any attack on any Kashmiri student has taken place. Thank you, Mr. Shokumar, uh, for speaking to NDTV. I know that uh, it is rare, but it's good to have an official record over there. So, do you, you know, we just heard what the DG Law and Order uh, has said. Is that the information that you have as well? I know you've been coordinating a lot of the efforts. Uh, no, actually, uh, the information that I have, I'll, I'll tell you uh, my information uh, source, not from any other source, but what is public record. Uh, there is a handle which claims to be the official handle of the Uttarakhand Police, which is called Uttarakhand Cops, all small. And they have continuously been tweeting saying all this is fake news. And even when I tweeted a, a Times of India report uh, saying that... Uh, is it verified? Uh, the Times of India report. No, the, is it verified? The Twitter no, handle? it's not a verified handle, okay, but there are many handles which are not verified, okay. right? right? Okay. The uh, Twitter doesn't verify many handles. The point is that this, this handle uh, uh, tweeted saying uh, that uh, we have, uh, uh, that this is, uh, you are spreading rumors. 
I had shared a Times of India story. So I asked them specifically that there is Vikas Verma convener Bajrang Dal who told the Times of India reporter and he is quoted there saying, we will ensure that no Kashmiri Muslim studies or stays here. VHP Shyam Sharma also said their aim was to teach the students a lesson so that no one can ever dream of doing what happened in Pulwama. So I asked them specifically and I am very happy to hear that 20 people were arrested and I want to ask specifically if these two leaders were among them. Because I uh, uh, don't wish to, I don't wish any uh, you know young person, I mean, any student who is uh, misguided into anything, whether yeah. it's a Facebook post or whether it is uh, uh, participating in these marches and geraos and mobs and whatnot. Yeah. For them to be the victims here, but I think that those leading and inciting this kind of actions should certainly be there. Should be action. I also want to just say one thing uh, in response to what Mr. Ashok Kumar said. He used a phrase which I think uh, is a little unfortunate. He said it is understandable. What is understandable? Um, I want to remind us ourselves of 1984, because which I am remembering every day. All right, because uh, in 1984, a terrible thing had happened. A prime minister of the country had been shot dead. There was immense anger. But when we use the words, and you used it too, so I am saying, when we use the words backlash, in some way we are implying that this is a spontaneous anger and backlash, which is in some way natural and justified. Please let me submit to you that this is not the case. There may be anger. And somewhere this anger may be even uh, against some unfortunate or misguided post by some young Kashmiri person, possibly. Not all of them are true, but in some cases, yes. But I'm saying, what should be our response? Our response cannot be, this is organized political violence, as it was in 1984, yeah. when it was the Congress party doing it, and now it is these, this party doing it, ruling party today. I want to say here, just that suppose there is a student who, uh, Kash who is from Kashmir and who has said something very unfortunate uh, about the Pulwama attack. What should be our response? Is our response going to be to treat them so terribly, to brand them seditious and to go after them and threaten them with violence and convince them that their instinct was absolutely right, that this, in fact they should be sympathizing with that attack or should we be behaving in a more mature fashion, responding in a manner in which they themselves so, are, uh, you know, realize that perhaps such an attack is uh, you, know, uh, you know, suicide bombing is not uh, at all the way to go. It is a wrong. Uh, it cannot solve any any uh, yeah. any issue that well, they may feel. I just they want have. to tell you that usage of the word backlash was certainly not a I justification. Know. I know you didn't intend yeah. it that way, but yeah. I'm just saying we should probably For not sure. use those words. Okay, so I just want to ask Firaz Ali. Firaz Ali, you're from Dehradun. I'm told. What is it that you're hearing? Because we've I spoke some of the you know young women who have been stuck there and they were very happy with the police. They said that they've got a lot of protection as well. So they're grateful for what the police is doing. And Mr. Ashok Kumar just told us that uh, that they have arrested, they have taken action against the mobs that are there. 20 people have been arrested. However, he of course said that if universities and colleges are saying that they won't admit Kashmiri students in the future, that perhaps is a matter of concern. What is it that you're hearing from your friends and others? Because I just want to tell our viewers that a lot of those women who were there, and that's the reason why we blurred their faces. They're very scared while they're reaching out to media. They're very scared of, you know, any kind of kind of retributive action that might take place. So they don't want to come on uh, in the media or on TV. What are you hearing, Firaz? Uh, very good evening. Uh, good evening. So uh, I did my MSc from the Dehradun. So presently, I'm in uh, Delhi. So the, my one side, uh, the India says that uh, uh, Kashmir is a part of uh, India. There's no doubt about that, according to the resources. Uh, so another, and, and in the another side, uh, today what we uh, uh, saw that uh, students, Kashmiri students are not uh, allow, allowed uh, in the institutes, in the uh, college, in the different universities all over the India. So what my question is that so what type of message they are providing to our nation from the universities from the universities yeah. so what message they are providing so with one side they are saying that so kashmir is a part of india and another side they are not allowing the kashmiris the, in the different institutes for the academic so may so may i know what is the reason behind this so what message they are providing that's a really pertinent question and you know i wish the and I think that when we spoke with, we spoke to the college uh, principal, of course, and he, you know, he agreed to come, but we couldn't get them in the end. But they are also saying that they are working under pressure, and uh, that's what they wanted to say. Ajay Rawat, do you want to answer his question, perhaps? Oh. Because it was a whole amalgamation of student hmm. groups. 
and the ABVP among others and the ABVP or I don't know if BJY, I don't know what your stand is, but they don't, they're not apologetic about their kind of initiative, their kind of agitation over there against just regular Kashmiri students who have nothing uh, to do uh, with uh, what I think happened it's, in it's important to understand that what is the situation first. Let's not pre-assumption the things just because ma'am certainly got a message not from about somebody. Her. We spoke to the police huh, officer. Just like they got a message from somebody and somebody has been harassing okay, somebody. Sure. First thing, I, I personally condemn every sort of harassment with any sort of Kashmiri that jo kisi bhi, uh, which is uh, there in any sort of university. That is bad. That's not the case because we are not, we are there to be friends with them. There is quota system, they have immigrant quota in the Kashmiri college. We've been providing everything to them. So first thing, uh, the guy on the panel don't need to worry about it. System is in place, police is in place, security is in place. Uh, you will be safeguarded, you won't be hurt because there are systems, there are police, there are things. Second thing, there is outrage, there is anger in people. Of course, it has to be. Uh, it can be motivated, yes, it can be both ways just to show the government in a bad picture also. It can be the other part of the story also. Oh, you are saying that these people, they don't, you don't support what these mobs... Of course, of course, I, I don't support them because this is not the way to treat them. But every action comes with an equal and opposite reaction. That's a science law. That's not my law, right? No, but... When you post, when you post such outrageous comments against army, when there is a sad incident in the country where 40 of our CRP Jawans died there, they've been killed, they're not died. They've been killed by an individual, which media somehow called an okay. innocent youth. I understand. So there must be an outrage. You don't post anything and people won't. Okay. Uh, huh. for, just for a second, leave aside the ones with the post, which you can, okay. I know that you have a point about mm -hmm. that. I'm asking about the students there who have not posted anything. Mm -hmm. The students who have posted are facing criminal charges now. The police have filed FIRs against them. Okay. From Jaipur to Uttarakhand, that is happening. I am asking about these students who are just carrying on. Is it fair that the, this mob made them promise not to take any Kashmiri students? Okay, there are a lot of students, they post something outrageous. But there there are a lot of people, okay, let me okay. tell you. There are a lot of people that retweet it again. There are a lot of people that share that post again, keep on trailing those posts again. And it becomes a viral one because it comes to us only. I am sitting in Delhi and been getting those posters. No, but the, it's, no, it's, no, no, it's no, I think you are mistaken. Okay, okay. I am saying, I am not saying about people who are retweeting hmm. or spreading that. Hmm. That is a separate thing. I am talking about all these students who have nothing to do with anything. I, of course, I, I would rather request everyone or anyone out there. So, let's, let's not harass them. There are our own people. There are own, our Indian fellows. But it's like, maybe it's an out do of an outrage. you condemn the ABVP for doing this? I don't condemn any stand for any other organization. I don't belong to ABVP. No, but okay, I belong condemn. to a different organization. I, I would rather take stand for them. No, I can't I take know. stand for them. But no. do you are you saying that ABVP people when they were there they shouldn't have done this can because you, the students okay, union. Let head. me make it clear. Can you yeah. take a stand on behalf of ZTV? You can't. No, but so I can I, say that I, I don't. I, approve. I can't they take a stand, stand for me. I can say that. Uh, and uh, even I'm not even aware about what ABVP was doing there, what they were saying there. I'm not aware about it. So no, I cannot that comment has been over ABVP. Reported, they have made public. My comment is not that I don't okay. know actually. Okay. You wanted to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to say that, look, uh, uh, you know, the very idea that uh, our outrage at an attack uh, should then spill over to an outrage, and you may be angry with someone. Okay, let me give you an instance. In yeah. Rajasthan yesterday, when these four girls uh, supposedly posted some photograph which was uh, interpreted as yeah, being can a you celebration. That to us? I want yeah. to explain. I don't know. Uh, I have not. Uh, I don't know the. I can't explain their post. Yeah. But I can explain what happened, which was very interesting, and I really uh, think that's very interesting. The girls who initially were very angry with them, okay, and who in fact brought it up saying that, oh, they have posted this picture. When the mob gathered, it was those same girls who got worried because they were not belonging to any political organization, had no political motive, don't know, there's an, don't, are not interested in the election two months away. And so they reached out to human rights activists to say, we are furious with these girls, but we don't want them attacked. Even though they posted something we disagree with, we want to disagree with them civilly. We want to argue with them yeah. and we want to talk to them. We certainly, we, we neither want them uh, booked for sedition. We neither want them, uh, you know, packed away back to Kashmir. We neither want them subjected to any uh, attacks. And I really want to say that, uh, uh, you know, the FIRs right now, I want to, uh, you know, state this here, for instance. That yeah. there's, a, there's a question of perspective. There is a Delhi MLA, an independent MLA in Delhi, who has posted a tweet saying that the wombs which give birth to terrorists must be wiped out we all know th who has wombs all right is women and to t and women are civilians <laughs> to, s to talk about this in this manner his tweet still remains there 
No one has taken any action against it. There has been no police action. He is out there inciting. There's another person who deleted his tweet, but he belongs to a well-known media portal. He tweeted uh, something inciting violence, asking, asking, using the words mass violence and saying do mass violence against a particular community. How come they are not being charged with sedition? And you are charging young students who even if they make a mistake, and I'm saying this even, even if it's a right-wing student who's uh, posting something uh, wrong, even if it were a young student saying something like this, I would not be in favor of going and booking them with cases. I would say talk, Whichever to, them. Ideology. talk yeah. to them, talk yeah. to them and say, no, this is not the right way to respond. This would be a very, very silly way to respond. You would be helping those who have done the Pulwama attack if you uh, go around attacking Kashmiri uh, youth and students and traders in this country. Uh, uh, it would be a, it would be a ter terrible mistake to do this. Yeah. So I really think that to say that there's outrage, and so if you post something outrageous, there's action reaction. I know Mr. Modi said it about Godra and uh, the Gujarat riots that happened. Action reaction, Newton, etc. Sorry, it's, it's, it's Newton. Like, it's not I'm fair. Saying, it's like no, you bring. Uh, no, no, I'm disagreeing you, with you. It's uh, like you bring an out with a different incident with a different one. It's like let me finish okay, what I'm saying. It, I'm it I'm seems like you've been imbibed with it. No, no. This is just not fair. I let you respond to me, please. Okay. Listen to me. I'm not, uh, let's talk about the current issue. Let's, let's not get into other Whether it is there or here, saying action reaction is a very dangerous thing. Let okay. there not be any reaction. Let us be mature and calm okay. and not react. Uh, okay. You want to quickly react? Of course. Okay. Uh, there is a different thing in posting things and they are posting things outrageous. You can post things. You can put your views. But okay, but I there are fundamental you, articles no, that, that, that can be violated too through your post itself. And that is defined in Article 19 itself. Article no, 19 Ajay. doesn't allow you to speak anything out of no, anger. Ajay, Shirabat, I want it to doesn't allow you. This one. And if FIR is booked, if right. FIR is booked, it is by the process. It is no, by I the process. I want to ask you, you, you know, why, if you, why no, since you, you bring up the law, okay. do you think the police can prosecute on this particular one where they have, this seems a little vague, the four women who've been booked, second year students of paramedical, uh, paramedical sciences okay. in, uh, in Rajasthan, they've been booked for a picture of themselves drinking lassi with just a hashtag of Pulwama. I don't know. Isn't that a little vague? The police okay, has let interpreted me it's like somebody it as a celebration. No, no, no. Some, if there, there are people who celebrated this event also. I know, but right? this particular one. Okay. I'm giving you the but exact why, why, example why you, of what... It's like, no, no. If I'm, I'm eating sweet with hashtag Pulwama, do you think it's not outrageous? I know, but... There is a difference between it's strange. Let's not get into the content and the strategy that you understand better than me because you belong to media and any post, okay. how a post can be manipulated, you know it better way than me, of course, because okay. that's how media plays. That's what I'm Let me to come say. to I this. Let me come to this. If yeah. even if okay. their FIR is booked, yeah. okay, police uh, job is to book an FIR, right. not to punish anyone. Okay, right. it's just an FIR. It will go to court, and it is the judgment of the court itself which will define it is right or what is wrong. Okay, so let's I not believe, get into I the believe, uh, I believe job of the police UP, uh, the, I beg your pardon. The Uttarakhand uh, Law and Order DG is back with us. He wants to say yes, Mr. Shokumar. Please go ahead. Yeah, I just want to clarify. I think the person who spoke after me, um, she mistook uh, what I said. Kavita I Krishnan, who is an activist, well known I'm activist. I'm with yeah. the CPIM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let me just tell you what I said was that a peaceful demonstration or candle marches is quite justified. There's nothing wrong about it. We have not allowed anybody to take law in their hands. Yeah. And we have ensured safety and security of each and every citizen of India. Uh, this is what I want to say. Thank you. I'm glad. Can you just tell us, sir, if you're still on, 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 on air, I'm really interested in knowing whether these uh, Bajrangda leaders, Vikas Verma and Shyam Sharma of VHP, who have told the media that we did this attack and we're going to keep doing it, uh, have they also been arrested among the 20 arrested? Yes, uh, uh, that would be very good to know. Against a lot of many people, I think Vikas Verma has also been arrested. And uh, uh, as I said, we've taken action against yeah. anyone um, uh, on the both sides, anyone yeah. who Please indulges stop. into any anti-national activity and Thanks anyone who indulges into any kind of vandalism. Thank yeah. you, sir. Please so, tell that this. Uh, pl okay. Yeah. Please okay. tell this. Okay, let's, Kuhn, let's not go for the media dialogue. Okay. The DG Mr. Ashok Kumar, thanks <laughs> yeah. very much. And we're totally out of time, even though these, I hope that this show 
has raised those questions as well. Who is the police acting against? But and is uh, I just want to say one point. Okay, Actually, just one. Let me finish. Couple of seconds. You talk about the security and safety of every student here. Actually. Yeah. But what about the security of the armed forces, which has been in encounter today? No, no, this is. No, I and do they being how are the, the students? Okay, look at I. Okay, I did that discussion. I did that discussion. I don't know if that analogy works. I don't want to. So what about those innocent youth who's been still painting while then? No, I don't know. Are you uh, saying? Uh, okay. no, we are totally out of time. That's it on reality check. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Not to the youth of Kashmir.